hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Action Comics, issue number one. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, in the new 52 relaunch, Action Comics is actually going to be set in the past. It's going to be the start of Superman's career, the Man of Steel's origin, in Metropolis. But before we actually get into issue number one of Action Comics, let's talk about something else. Right here is the Chronicle series of Superman Volume 1. Now you're probably wondering, why did I pull this out? Well, the reason why is because in the origin for Superman, the original Superman stories, back in the 30s and 40s, Superman was a completely different creature than he is now. Superman was more of a character, a man of the people. He, he would go out and he would defend the poor, defend the weak, rather than take on extreme supervillains like Lex Luthor or Darkseid or Brainiac. He was a man of the people, and he had a rough and tough way of doing things. He would burst into people's houses, he would threaten them to make confessions, and then throw them to the police. That's what Superman originally was. Now, going into Action Comics number one, knowing that, we can understand the approach that Grant Morrison is trying to take with the Man of Steel. See, what Grant Morrison is trying to do is bring Superman back to his basics, at least for the origin of Superman. See, Superman is, again, set in the past in this comic, so you can do a lot of leeway with the character. And by bringing him back to his roots, being a man of the people, you can then take him and make him evolve throughout his history. So we have him as a man of a people, and then in Superman's comic, which is set in the present day, he is the superhero that we all know and love. For the most part. So, with that out of the way, so that you guys now know the direction that Action Comics is going, let's talk about it. Action Comics starts off with Superman doing exactly what I just said. He's bursting into someone's home, picking them up, and threatening them to confess to crimes. He then jumps off a building as a means to threaten them, with them in his hands, and eventually they fess up and they say, Hey, I'm guilty of all this stuff. While all this is happening, the police is chasing after Superman. And who's watching this from the distance? None other than General Lane and Lex Luthor. Yeah, I was a little surprised Lex Luthor was in this too. I heard that they weren't going to use Lex for a bit, for whatever reason. Some people say it's because of the lawsuit, but I, I don't think so. But I was actually surprised that Lex was in this, and I'm, I'm kind of happy too. Anyways... General Lane and Lex Luthor are watching on because they want to study Superman. They want to dissect him. They want to bring him in or take him down. Anyway, Superman is able to escape the authorities, make it back to his apartment, only to be called up by his friend Jimmy Olsen, and while Jimmy is calling him, he is with Lois Lane. And they're on a train. A train set to explode. So, Clark has to don his kind of Superman costume once again and stop the train from crashing. Will he be able to succeed in this task or will he fail and Superman just not work out? Well, you're going to have to wait and see. But even if he did succeed, is it really a victory for Superman? Well, let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Well, I do like the approach that Grant Morrison is doing in this, because I do like the fact that they're bringing him back to his roots in his original comic. It allows the character to evolve, so he goes from this man of the people into this superhero. And I also like the fact that, you know, Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane are kind of in their own little world at the Daily Planet, while Clark is at the Daily Star. And how Lois is, uh, I mean... How uh, Jimmy is Clark's best friend. Lois doesn't really like Clark at all. Um, I also like the fact that Lex Luthor was there. I like General Lane. And I like the overarching story that's kind of going on. And the ending was nice. I like the ending too. Um, so I did like that. Bad. Well, the art isn't bad, but it takes some time to get used to. And there's a few instances where it looks a little off. Mainly when... Well, Clark is Clark. When he's Superman, he looks good. But when he's Clark, he looks a little off. Maybe it's the fact that the artist is trying to make him look radically different from Superman in order to, you know, hide his identity. But it still looks a little off. Lois also looked really weird, too. Um, not saying the art's bad, but I guess it just takes time to get used to. 
Second thing is, to be honest, I really don't care for the costume. I understand what Grant is trying to do with it, and it's okay. And as long as we're eventually going to get the real Superman costume, that's what matters. But, I mean, seriously, work boots and jeans, he couldn't find something else. At least, at least give the shirt sleeves. But this is a cosmetic thing, and it really shouldn't affect the overall story. And I guess in the end, the costume serves its uh, purpose because it's just a build-up for another costume. Other than that, overall, whether or not you should get it, Action Comics was fun. Um, I don't think it was as momentous as everyone thought it was going to be for the first issue. However, I also think this is going to be a story that is much better told as an overall story. So, do I recommend picking it up? Yeah. I like how Superman's the man of the people. I like how the direction that Grant is taking him. I was a little concerned that Grant was going to go loopy and crazy with too much power and just take Superman in a totally wrong direction. But he's working Superman very well. And I did like his portrayal of Lex Luthor, although I didn't like the fact that Lex was drinking an energy drink. That doesn't seem like something Lex would drink. Lex should drink tea. That's something Lex should drink. Just have a nice Earl Grey tea. He's bald, so he might as well try to pretend to be like Picard. But on a whole, it was a fun issue. It's not quite as good as Detective Issue number 1. But again, like I said, I think this is going to work better as an overall story. So, on a whole, I would give it like a 4 out of 5 stars if I had to rate it. It was fun, it was enjoyable, and I do recommend people pick it up. As long as you know, going into this comic, that exactly what Grant is trying to do. He's trying to go back to basics with Superman and build him up. Give him a nice, fresh, clean origin. And I commemorate that. I know I give Grant Morrison a lot of shit, and I do give him a lot of shit, especially with his dialogue. But for the most part, Grant Morrison is a smart individual. He understands the comic book world. He understands the comic book industry, the mythos behind the characters. He can plot a story fantastically well. So I feel as though Action Comics is in good hands, and I was overall happy on how this went. So Action Comic number one, pick it up. This is Andrew saying peace out for now.